everybody, this is Chris, and in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create the create that blade.php file. First, we're going to correct those uh, CSS type errors we had in the previous video. And if you go back out to the master page, I forgot to type the actual pixel, so px for pixel. I'm just going to give it a space here to also. And also, if we go back into the index.blade.php, we come down here and we give it a st uh, style equal to. I'm just going to say margin top and we'll just say 15 pixels and save that if we go back out and we refresh there we go that's a lot better so let's go ahead and get started on this create page so where is it here create so let me get rid of this we'll say at extends master layouts master so at extends layouts dot master and let's say add section content and at stop. Okay we're gonna make this a row so a row we're gonna make we're gonna give it make it a four column and offset it by four. So make it four columns, offset it by four, and we're gonna give it another margin. So to do that, we'll just say column medium four. We need to put a dot in front of this thing first. And we're gonna offset also. So dot column medium offset and four. And that's that. And we're gonna go in and give it a style. So style equals uh, margin top 50 pixels. That's just to give us that uh, break. I could have done margin bottom 50 pixels and probably save this some time, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Too late. Next we're going to use a bootstrap 3 panel. So, and these are pretty, I love these. We're going to say panel and then we're going to say panel info. That will give us that nice blue header at t uh, at the top. So this first one's going to be panel heading, and that's going to be just add a new task, add a new task. Next, we're going to have the body, the panel body. So that's going to be dot panel body. And here we're going to have our form. So form open. So form open and it's going to be an array and our route is going to be sorry about that and that needs to be encapsulated here route and our route is going to be tasks dot store since we're storing it and it needs to be also don't know where my head is today Next, we're gonna have I've, I've used this in every single application that I do. So at f errors, we're gonna handle any errors here. So errors any. We're just gonna create create a div with a class of the alert and alert danger. So it's red. Okay, we'll have a hyperlink here. href is going to go nowhere. It's going to have a hashtag. Uh, class equals alert. Actually, class equals clue. I'm sorry. Data dismiss equals alert. Data dismiss equals alert. And then we're just going to use the HTML entity times. So at times. And if you've watched my videos before, I just use the HT, uh, PHP implode to just uh, send out these errors. So implode, no glue, and we're just going to say errors all, and just throw out some HTML here. Li 
class equals error. And we're going to have message. And close our li. And we're done with that. Next, we just need to say indef. Okay, so we'll create another div called control group. So that dot uh, control group. form label and it's gonna be its name is gonna be task and it's gonna be for task so actually its value is gonna be task sorry it's gonna be for task the label is gonna be task okay so next we're gonna have the form input so form text and this name is going to be task it's not returning anything or it doesn't have a secondary value and we're going to have a class say placeholder of course the HTML5 placeholder says so say add a task and then Class is going to be for, yeah. Class is going to be form control. Let's get it together here. Form control. So that's that div here. We're just going to give it a break because I don't. It's not going to do it by itself. And now we just need to submit. So form submit. And we're just going to say add, and then we're going to give it a class itself. So array in class. Shoot, don't want to do that. Class is button button success. And we're also going to give it a link, so a link to route to go back. So link to route. I'm going to take it back to task.index if they just want to cancel it. So task.index values cancel. No third parameter. Any array is going to be class and button button warning. we have that now all we need to do is close our form and save that go back out here refresh and see if we have any errors here we have an unexpected ne here so it's going to be on line 9 let's go down and see what we have on line 9 here it doesn't look like line 9 to me. Before I go open array route tasks. We're missing a parentheses. Save that, go back out, let's go back, refresh, add new task, and there we go. So there's our create page, and if we add a task, we should get back a task. So let's see. Just add test, add, and there we go. So it's not completed. We created it one second ago, and next we need to go ahead and do the edit, and then we'll and the delete's already done, so if we hit delete now, it should work. So yeah, so add a task, test,
and now we just need to do the delete and we'll do that in the next tutorial or actually to edit and we'll do that in the next tutorial